CPW is in the Phoenix Concert Theatre in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where eight of the best wrestlers from the Great White North will compete to represent their country in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Dave Bradshaw here alongside former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane, and Alex, we are getting straight into the action. A first round match between Michael Elgin and Rene Dupree. And Dave Bradshaw, what a first round match it's set to be, because as our tale of the tape clearly illustrates, Rene Dupree has the height advantage, Michael Elgin has the, the weight at Elgin. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a first round match in the World Cup Qualifying Tournament and it's scheduled for one fall. We're introducing first from Oshawa, Ontario, weighing in at 255 pounds. This is Big Mike Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin been making a name for himself all around the world. Of course, a former Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. Also doing very well in Japan, a former IWGP Intercontinental Champion. This man is an absolute beast. And what, to me, Dave, makes this match so interesting is Elgin has really carved a name for himself on a world stage in the Indies. Rene Dupree was the youngest athlete at the time to be signed to the WWE. So you have one man who's taken the very hard path of the Indies against another man who was plucked for greatness at a very early age. Difference in philosophy, difference in stature, all taking place right here in Canada's World Cup. And his opponent, representing the Maritimes, weighing in at 250 pounds, this is Rene Dupree! Well, as you say, Alex, Rene Dupree, a second generation wrestler, 33 years of age now, and it is now a decade since he was released from WWE. Dupree has been making waves across the Indies in that time, and no bigger wave would there be than if he could bring home the Pro Wrestling World Cup for Canada. The pressure for both of these two men because this World Cup tournament is truly a global phenomenon here in pro wrestling. And you have these two to kick things off. Dave, I'm going to put you on the spot, pick a winner. No, take your finger out your nose. I'm in in this match. You know, j just based on based on his uh, recent successes around the world, I'm going to pick Elgin, but I, I feel uncomfortable doing so because Dupree is such an accomplished technical wrestler. This one is a, it's a coin toss. And referee Jimmy Coderish, if he looks familiar to you, that's because he was a big, big time referee in the WWE. The best officials in the world and the best wrestlers in Canada to kick things off in our opening contest. Now, if you're Dupree here, Alex, how do you even begin to try and take Elgin off his feet? Such a, such a powerful base, just a, an absolute rock of a man. That's a good question. What's your answer? To watch and see what happens. That's the kind of wisdom and insight yeah. you can get from former British heavyweight champion Alex Shane on this broadcast. And Dave, the weird thing was that I have been flown alongside you all the way to Canada to commentate on this, but not the World Cup event in England that was two hours from my house. Free holiday, it's nice work if you can get it. It's obviously the uh, quality of your analysis that we just heard a minute ago is why they've flown you all the way over here. Anyway, collar and elbow tie up. And you see right there the difference in leverage. Dupree leaning forwards and down. Elgin having to face upwards there. And that leverage was used against Elgin as he's taken into the corner. Yeah, Elgin was trying to use his power to put Dupree in the corner. But as you say, Dupree using that height advantage to twist things round. And uh, this World Cup supposedly fought under high standards of sportsmanship. But this one's getting a little bit heated early on. Elgin is a phenomenally strong human being. You see him in the ring there with Dupree, and you'd be remiss to thinking that Dupree is the stronger, more explosive than these two men, but I would say it's a 50-50 with a man like Elgin. Elgin takes a kick into the abdomen. Shoulder block from Elgin as he comes back, takes down Dupree. And that's that explosive energy I was telling you about. 
leaping forearm into the face of the former WWE Tag Team Champion. Rene Dupree was the youngest champion of any kind in WWE history when he won those World Tag Team titles at the age of 19. He's a phenomenon, no doubt about it. And look at what Elgin's got in mind here. Well, I'm not sure what he's thinking. Elgin leaping over the top into a, oh, it's a frog splash. He goes for a cover and gets two. I thought he'd taken too long there. But Dupree was clearly stunned from that body slam. It may only be a body slam, but when you're a man the size of Dupree, you're not used to being thrown around this often, and he's going to do it again. Look at this. Look at this strength. Rene Dupree, the best part of 250 pounds, being lifted up like he's nothing by Big Mike. Dupree trying to find a way down. He might do it. Elgin. Getting him back up straight and dropping him down on his back. Incredible power. I have no idea how long that was for because the UK indie fan effect has taken hold here in Canada just a two. Elgin now starting to test things out, seeing if he can get some pin attempts here on Dupree. Testing out that stamina. Dupree, though, is a finely tuned athlete. Always has been. He's not just a wrestler, by the way. He's a former Canadian national bodybuilding champion. Oh, look at that enziguri by the big man. That is impressive. The spring in the legs from Rene Dupree. And as you said earlier, Dupree has been in the business for well over a decade and he is still only 33 years of age. I mean, he grew up in this industry. Every fiber of his genetic makeup has rest him running through it. Well, Dupree has rattled the cage of Michael Elgin with that enziguri. Elgin trying to shake the cobwebs off as these two now exchange chops in the middle of the ring. This crowd in Toronto, so raucous. They've been great hosts here in Canada for us as there's a high knee into the jaw of Elgin from Dupree. Yeah, there was an added bit of spike there from Dupree. Jumped up and took that knee, which would normally have been in the midsection, straight under the chin of Elgin. And seated abdominal stretch here. And this is where you really see the size difference. And now it's, I wonder again if this is an example of Dupree trying to slow down that explosive offense of Elgin. He did it with the Inseguri now trying to get him into a submission hold and Elgin was able to power out again. Dupree is going to take a run up here into the corner. He's been oh, caught by Elgin. Oh. Dupree in no man's land. Over the head of Elgin, what a suplex. He threw him like a sack of small potatoes. And Dupree is a big man, as we've already established. And here's that explosive force that is Michael Elgin. Short arm clothesline from Elgin as Dupree goes to the mat. And once more, Dupree is failing here to stop that runaway steam train that is the offense of Michael Elgin. Waist lock and a reversal, then a huge German suplex with a bridge. Oh. Incredible gymnastic ability there for the to hold on for the bridge. Great upper body strength as well from Elgin. And you know the big disadvantage of being in the wrestling business from such a young age is the wear and tear it takes on your body. He may look in amazing physical condition, but you can bet that underneath that muscular physique are years and years of wear and tear on the tendons, ligaments, joints and bones of Rene Dupree. Elgin goes to the ropes, gets caught by Dupree. Takes a knee into the temple and a side suplex. Here comes Dupree again, again taking a run up. It didn't work last time. Second time of asking. Dupree this time with a drop kick into the jaw of Big Mike who goes down. Dupree will go for the cover to advance to the second round and he was just a split second away. Referee Jimmy Corder is there. His hand came down for that three and at the last nanosecond he had to avoid the course and the path of that outstretched hand. Well, what's Dupree doing here? He's got... Dupree is obviously frustrated. He's bringing a chair into the ring and that's not smart. You get disqualified, you're eliminated from the tournament. Now, Corderas is taking that chair away, or trying to. Oh, well, that's got to be a disqualification right there. Oh, the high boot into the face off the chair from Elgin. And, well, yeah, referee has it. He's called for the bell, I assume, as you Ladies say, Alex. The referee has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner via disqualification, Big Mike. Michael Elgin! Well,
for a man who's as experienced as Rene Dupree, that was a very, very silly mistake because he has just cost himself his place in this tournament. Well, to me, that looks a lot like Rene Dupree realized the trouble he was in, and instead of being pinned in the center of that ring, he took the odds uh, at the gamble of bringing that chair in, and it cost him. He is out of this World Cup. Well, meanwhile, Michael Elgin is just one win away from representing his country in the finals. He will face the winner of our next match, Frankie the Monster versus Harry Smith. The winner of that will represent Canada in the finals of the Pro Wrestling World Cup.